Yo, what's up? We are continuing our journey to the World Series. If you missed the Division Series, go check it out. I think it was a pretty good series and had a lot of good moments. But in the American League Championship Series, we are going up against the Boston Red Sox. They were the best team in the league. And then in the National League, it is the Milwaukee Brewers versus the St. Louis Cardinals. And the Cardinals already have a win. So it's an interesting matchup to see. But the potential starting pitchers for our series against the Red Sox in game one, we're going to have Hisashi Iwakuma versus Wade Miley. In game two, Taiwan Walker versus Rick Porcello. In game three, Felix Hernandez versus Henry Owens. But I don't think Felix Hernandez would pitch that game because I think he needs more time to rest. So it most likely would be James Paxton. And in game four, they don't even show the potential matchup. So it would definitely be King Felix for us and whoever they have. Anyways, moving on to game one. Kettle Marte returns from injury. He has been out two months, the last two months of the season. So it's nice to have him back. Rest of the lineup. We have Ichiro Suzuki, Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz, Kyle Seeger, Mark Trumbo, Mike Zunino, Franklin Gutierrez, and Chris Taylor. Game one, it's at Fenway Park. We're going to look to jump out to a quick start. Top of the second inning. Mark Trumbo up to bat. Mark Trumbo going deep with the home run. Doing exactly what we wanted to do to start off this series. Mark Trumbo coming off big. That's his second home run of the postseason. And we're off to that quick start that we wanted. So we go up 1-0 in the top of the second inning. Moving on, we're heading to the bottom of the third inning. Hisashi Iwakuma with the high fastball. Getting that strikeout. Got him frozen. Now, still in the bottom of the third inning. Hisashi trying to get his second strike out of the game. We do was the splitter. That was definitely misplaced. But still a swing and a miss. On to the top of the fourth inning. Mike Zunino up to bat. And Mike Zunino in the deepest part of center field. He's going to go deep. And that's our second home run of the game. Unexpected from Mike Zunino. But I will gracefully take that home run. That's his first of the postseason. And we are up 3-0 now in this game. So we're off to a very good start. Bottom of the fourth inning. Red Sox have a runner on third base. The splitter low and away. Getting that big strikeout on Ortiz. Nelson Cruz up in the top of the fifth inning. We have runners on first and second. The grounder up past the shortstop. One run comes around to score. And we're up 4 nothing. Exactly what we wanted to do in game one of this series. Jump out ahead. But in the top of the sixth inning, we have bases loaded for Kettle Marte. He's going to pop it up to right field. And that's a sack fly. Another run is going to come into score. We're tagging up. Running home. We safe. Kettle Marte getting an RBI in his first game back from injury. Like I said before, it's nice to have him in the lineup once again. We're on to the bottom of the inning. And Hisashi Iwakuma still pitching strong. Getting those strikeouts. Right here, a grounder to Kettle Marte. He's going to get the unassisted double play. Playing well. We're on to the top of the seventh inning. We have Mike Zunino up once again. Zunino, he's going to find it into the outfield. And we're going to score another run in this game. Going up 6-0. Red Sox pitching is struggling right now. But that's not my problem. On to the bottom of the eighth inning. Hisashi forcing the grounder. That's what we've been doing. We've been forcing grounders on the Red Sox, not giving them any opportunities. We're on to the bottom of the ninth inning. Hisashi still going strong. The last play of the game. Complete game shutout for Hisashi Iwakuma. A great game for him. And he ends up being the player of the game. And well deserved. Nine shutout innings, five strikeouts. The rest of the Mariners, Mark Trumbo had a great game. Going 4 for 5 with a home run, a double, and an RBI with a run. Mike Zunino also had a great game. Going 3 for 4 with a home run and 3 RBIs with a run. Robinson Cano goes 2 for 4 with a run. And Nelson Cruz goes 1 for 5. Hisashi Iwakuma is 1 0 in the postseason. For the Red Sox, Hanley Ramirez went 1 for 4 with a double. Sandoval went 1 for 3. Mookie Betts went 1 for 4. And Xander Bogarts went 1 for 2. Wayne Miley picks up the loss. And we are victorious in game one of this series. Now moving on to game two. We have Tawan Walker versus Rick Porcella. We have the same lineup. Kettle Marte, Ichiro Suzuki, Robinson Cano, Nelson Cruz, Kyle Seeger, Mark Trumbo, Mike Zunino, 
Franklin Gutierrez and Chris Taylor. They played well in game one. I'm hoping they will play well once again in game two. So game two, this is a big one. We either go back to Seattle tied 1-1 or go back to Seattle with a 2-0 lead with three home games in the series in a row. That's a that's a big difference right there. In the top of the inning, Kyle Seager had runners on first and second, couldn't connect. Bottom of the second inning, Taiwan Walker, the high curve ball, David Ortiz. We hung that one too much. David Ortiz makes us pay, goes deep into center field, and that is a home run. We're giving it up to the Red Sox. This time, they jump out to the 1-0 lead, and that makes a difference. Still, bottom of the second inning, Taiwan Walker looking to bounce back. That's what he does, fastball, high and tight. Getting that strikeout. The next batter up. Still in the second inning. Fastball away in the zone. Two strikeouts for Walker. So a nice little bounce back after giving that home run. Top of the third inning. Robinson Cano. He's going to get a nice hit into the outfield. That finds the gap. I would have loved to come around and score or tried to score. But the Red Sox, they got to that ball quick. Got it into the infield. We had to settle with the double and runner on third the next batter up kyle seager he's gonna ground it to the first baseman and the red sox get out of that inning to the bottom of the third inning taiwan walker was a splitter low and away getting a third strike out of the game still in the third inning the curveball that's a nice little pitch right there and now we're gonna try to strike out the side and that's exactly what we do with another curveball away in the zone five strikeouts for taiwan walker Bottom of the fourth inning, just give him another strikeout. Fastball, high, that was actually out of the zone. He chased on it, but we'll take that. Still bottom of the fourth inning, they have runners on first and second. This ball is deep, and it's going to go off the wall. I thought that was a home run, and that could have really hurt us. But two runs are going to come around and score, so that's a big hit for the Red Sox. We started the inning off so good, getting two outs, and then the Red Sox had that little rally. To the top of the fifth inning, Nelson Cruz hitting it to the shortstop. Red Sox once again getting out of the inning unharmed. On to the bottom of the fifth inning, Taiwan Walker with an inside fastball. That should be strikeout number six. On to the top of the seventh, we have Kettle Marte. He's going to get a hit up the middle. We now have runners on first and second. This is the time where we got to do anything possible to score a run. So with Ichiro, we're going to lay down that bunt to the third baseman. He's going to make the play. We almost beat this out. That would have been a big play if we were able to beat it out. But now we have runners on second and third for Robinson Cano. And Cano, he's going to come up clutch with the base hit. Both runs are going to come around and score. Catcher miss handles it. Robinson Cano's on his way to second base after Nelson Cruz gets walked we have runners on first and second a grounder to ortiz to the second baseman kyle seager beats it out at first and this is where we got dumb we risked it we went home with robinson cano for no for no reason we tried to get that extra run and that messed us up a little bit red sox in the bottom of the inning they get a big hit past our shortstop and they score another run going up four to two so maybe our risk kind of hurt us Gave the Red Sox more chances. But in the bottom of the seventh, Danny Holson with runners on the corners comes up with a big strikeout. Top of the eighth inning, we need to make something happen. Mike Zunino with a big hit. But this is going to be a ground rule double. Hey, I'll take it. Next batter up, we're bringing in Seth Smith to pinch hit. Need something big to happen. And Seth Smith, he's going to go deep with it. With the pinch hit home run. Oh my goodness, what a big hit for Seth Smith coming off the bench and hitting that home run. And that's going to tie the game up. So a huge moment for the team. And hopefully that right there shifts the momentum. On to the bottom of the ninth inning. McCall Guap into a pitch. He's going to get the strikeout. And now we're going on to the top of the tenth inning. We forced three walks in a row. And now we have bases loaded. For who other than Kettle Marte, who's been out for so long. He's going to hit it to the shortstop. The plate up first. He is safe. And we're going to go ahead in this game. So Kettle Marte hustling it out, avoiding that double play. And we're going up 5-4. to four. Ichiro, the next batter up. He's going to get one up the middle. And that scores another run for us. 
Runners are now on first and second, but we're going up six to four. Who else but Robinson Cano? Can he make something happen right here? That looked like a slider coming into the middle of the plate. We make him pay for that. Kettle Marte, he's going to come around and score. Ichiro, I mean, we always make base running mistakes. We get ourselves into a pickle, and we, we really just wanted to get that run, and we did that. So Ichiro gets tagged out at second, but we go up 7-4. to four. We had a great inning. Tom Wilhelmsen in the bottom of the 10th inning. He's going to get the strikeout. That's going to end the game. And we get a nice comeback victory winning 7-4. to four. Seth Smith, he's the player of the game. Well deserved. He had the biggest hit of the game. Tying the game up with his home run in the 8th inning. He had two RBIs off of that. Robinson Cano had a great game going 4-5 for five with a double and three RBIs. Zunino goes 2-4 for four with a double and a run. And Kettle Marte 1-5. for five. Kind of had the game-winning RBI and a run. McCall Guap picks up the win for the Red Sox. Mancada goes 3 for 4 with a triple, two RBIs and a run. Ortiz goes 1 for 3 with a home run RBI and a run. Sandoval goes 1 for 4 with a run. And Ramirez goes 1 for 5 with a strikeout. O'Flaherty picks up the loss, but the rest of this series will be up tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed, and I'm out.